Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to take a heartfelt journey through the life of a true music legend, Kenny Rogers. Many of you know him for his unforgettable hits like The Gambler and Lucille, but behind the spotlight and sold-out arenas was a devoted family man who cherished his children more than anything. Today, we're not just celebrating his extraordinary career, but also looking at the family he built. A family that Kenny Rogers worked so hard to nurture in the later years of his life. We'll explore the stories of his five children and how they continue to carry his legacy forward. Stick around. This is going to be a truly touching story of love, fame, and family. Kenny Rogers is a name synonymous with country music greatness. With over 60 years of musical achievements, Kenny racked up multiple Grammy Awards, several ACMs, and, of course, a well-deserved spot in the Country Music Hall of Fame. His songs defined generations, and his voice became a soundtrack to people's lives across the globe. But after decades of success and touring, something changed for Kenny. In 2015 on The Today Show, Kenny made the emotional decision to retire stepping away from the stage to focus on his family. Let's start with Kenny's first child, his only daughter, Carol Lynn Rogers. Born on September 15, 1958, Carol was the product of Kenny's first marriage to Janice Gordon. At just 19, Kenny stepped into fatherhood, fully accepting the responsibilities that came with it. In his autobiography, Luck or Something Like It, Kenny revealed how determined he was to stand by Janice when she unexpectedly became pregnant. But as life often goes, the relationship between Kenny and Janice didn't last. As Kenny's career started to soar, the demands of his music began to pull him away from his family, including Carol. By 1960, he and Janice went their separate ways, and unfortunately, Kenny's busy life on the road meant that he rarely saw his daughter. At one point, he was only allowed two hours of visitation with her each week. It's heartbreaking to hear, but it's a reality that many entertainers face, the tug of war between career and family. Over time, Kenny lost contact with Carol. She was adopted by her mother's second husband, and while Kenny wasn't involved in her life, he deeply respected her new father's role. In an interview years later, Kenny expressed gratitude, saying that Carol's adoptive father had been a good man who stepped in at a difficult time. Next in line is Kenny Rogers Jr., born on May 24, 1964, during Kenny's marriage to his third wife, Margot Anderson. Like his father, Kenny Jr. found his way into the entertainment industry, but instead of singing, he pursued acting and composing. You might recognize his work from films like Pop Star Never Stop Never Stopping and Get Him to the Greek. But as much as Kenny Jr. followed in his father's creative footsteps, their relationship wasn't always easy. Kenny once opened up about how he wished he had spent more time with Kenny Jr. He admitted that during those crucial early years, he was so focused on his career that he didn't always prioritize fatherhood. He said something many parents can relate to. You think there will always be more time to spend with your kids, but then you look up and they're grown. It's a tough reality, and it's clear that Kenny carried those regrets with him for a long time. Kenny's third child, Christopher Cody Rogers, was born in 1981 to Kenny and his fourth wife, Marianne Gordon. From the moment Christopher was born, Kenny was determined to be there for him in ways he hadn't been for his older children. Christopher was born with a serious respiratory condition, and Kenny's love and attention were constant as he watched his son fight through those early challenges. One of the most emotional moments Kenny ever shared about his son was when he had to break the news of his divorce from Marianne. Christopher was just 12 years old, and the news hit him hard. Kenny recalled how his son, in tears, asked him, Will you still be my dad? Kenny promised him that no matter what, he would always be his father. That moment stayed with Kenny for the rest of his life. 
Today, Christopher is an accomplished actor and director, known for projects like The Gambler Returns and Loneliness. He continues to carry on his father's creative legacy in his own way. And finally, we have Kenny's youngest children, his twin boys, Justin and Jordan Rogers. Born on July 6, 2004, to Kenny and his fifth wife, Wanda Miller, these boys were truly the joy of Kenny's later life. After four marriages and four children, Kenny didn't think he would have more kids, but fate had other plans. Wanda, who hadn't had children before, convinced Kenny to reconsider, and soon after, the couple was thrilled to learn they were having twins. Kenny often joked about the challenges of raising energetic twins at his age, even admitting he struggled to tell them apart at times. But through all the fun and chaos, it was clear that these boys were everything to him. In 2016, Kenny took them on his farewell tour, creating unforgettable memories that they would carry for the rest of their lives. In June 2023, Justin and Jordan graduated from high school, a major milestone in their young lives. Kenny may not have been there to see it, but his influence remains strong. They've spoken fondly about their father, with Jordan recalling how his dad always encouraged him to be himself and embrace his unique sense of humor. Kenny Rogers passed away peacefully at the age of 81 on March 21, 2020, surrounded by his loved ones. As much as fans across the world mourned the loss of a music legend, his family grieved for the man they knew simply as dad. On the one-year anniversary of his passing, they released a heartfelt statement expressing how much they missed him, saying, We will never stop missing him, and we will forever celebrate the person he was and the extraordinary musical legacy he left behind. And that's the truth, isn't it? Kenny Rogers may have been a superstar, but to his family, he was so much more. He was a father who, despite the demands of fame, never stopped striving to be there for his kids. His music will continue to inspire millions, but his greatest legacy is the love he left behind for his family. Thank you all for watching and joining me on this journey through the life and legacy of Kenny Rogers. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more stories about legendary figures and their incredible lives. And don't forget to drop a comment below. What's your favorite Kenny Rogers song? And how has his music touched your life? I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.